So hello guys, welcome to this video. So in this video, now we are gonna create a simple project which we will be using uh, for uh, counting the eggs. So now if you're ready, let's get underway with this project. Now, uh, first thing we're gonna do is just we are gonna create a new project and then we will be continuing with empty activity. We are gonna give our project a name and it's gonna be egg counter. So this is gonna be egg counter and then let's say finish. And then we are going to wait for some time in order to scan all the Gradle files. Okay, so this is the environment where we will be working on. And then first thing we are going to do is just we will be kind of designing our uh, UI layout. I mean the user interface. So I think it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time, yes. Okay. Now, this is our layout, so as you can see. And then here we will be using the constraint layout, as you can see here. So very first thing we're gonna do is just, I'm gonna delete this uh, text view. I'm gonna delete this text view. And here in the design tab, and then in the common buttons, so here in the common UI elements, first thing I'm gonna kinda text, and then here this is gonna be uh, edit text, as you can see. And then after this edit text, I will be using a button here. So here we will be using button and then another component we are here, we are going to have here is the another button. And then after this one, we will be having a text view in order to show the number of X. And after this one, finally, we will be having another button in order to reset the numbers. So here and now once we are have, once we have this all the components in this uh, file, I'm going to select all of them by doing something like this by tracking the mouse and I'm going to right click on it and then here I'm going to create a vertical chain as you can see and then now I'm going to since we are using the constraint layout I have to constrain all these components uh, horizontally as well so that's why now here I'm just going to constrain all the components one by one so here Okay, so as you can see, we have just successfully constrained all of our layouts I and mean, all the UI components. And here I'm going to open the attributes window and this is going to be, let's say, so this is going to be edit text get. So where, uh, here we will be getting the number of the X, for instance, if you want to enter manually. And then here I'm going to hit enter, refactor. And then here in the button, we are going to say, this is, get, this is not going to be button. This is BTN, BTN. So num. It. So the, he, the, we will be using this button in order to enter the uh, some uh, numbers manually instead of tapping on the screen. So this is the BTN number at, and then this is gonna be BTN, and then this is gonna be BTN uh, one at. So the reason why I'm saying one at because we will be using this button in order to add or in order to increase the number of x one by one when press this button. So here, and then now we are done with this button, and then here. This is going to be txt and then I'm going to say txt show because uh, I will be uh, displaying the number of the x which have been counted so far. So this is going to be txt show and then here I'm going to have the component which which is uh, btn. So btn reset because I will be using this button in order to reset the number or the, the counted the reset the number of x to zero and then the refactor and then here we will be changing the, any other comp, uh, parameters programmatically so here we don't need this text and then we will not be needing this text and then also we will not be needing this attribute as well instead i will be changing this match parent so match parent and then here this is going to be input type input type is not going to be name instead it's going to be number because we will be only entering the number and here i'm gonna provide hints so here let's say number or let's say number of x so and then here sorry for the typo and here this is going to be takes the txt uh, txt style and it's going to be bold so and then it, i'm gonna center this for this i'm gonna use gravity and it's center so here as you can see and then after this one i'm going to increase the text size so let's say it's going to be 
TXT size is around 30 p 30 SP and then after this one this is going to be button and then this button is gonna match parent so and then after this one we are gonna say and then we say add simply add and then this button is gonna be uh but, but it's going to be this is gonna be tap let's say when the user taps on the button the number will increase automatically and then here this is gonna be also a match parent so and then but i'm gonna increase it to maybe around 100 dp and then i think it's still short okay we can change this later on and then this text view text view is also it's gonna be it's gonna be match parent and then it's gonna be center so it's not center it's gravity and center and then here i'm gonna delete this text because uh, here as you can see txt view and i don't need this text i do i want it to be empty so for for now and i'm going to increase the txt size takes the style okay and with it's going to be bold and then it's going to be i'm going to increase uh txt size and it's going to be 30 sp around and then in the last button so the last this is the last button so this is the last button and then here it's going to be match parent and then after this match parent let's say we have this button but it's not going to be button instead it is going to be reset so now reset button and then let's say i'm going to increase also the txt size so text size and it's going to be 30 sp also and then after this one let's run this and then here we need to increase the size maybe let's make this uh so txt size it's let's around let's make this around 100 sp it's it is too big and let's say 100 sp and i'm going to increase this uh height let's say it's going to be 200 dp and then if i run this application just we are going to wait for some time for this application to be run on our virtual de device and as you can see this running uh, process is underway and I think it's gonna take some time depending on the complexity of the project. So here as you can see, we have this number of X. As you can see, as I said, we are we can only enter the numbers here. And then we have this add button top, and then here we here we have this uh text view in order to show the number of the X, and then here we have reset button. So I think it's it looks fine, but I'm gonna add a little bit padding so that we can have a little bit space between I'm in this uh on the left side and on the right side so that's why i'm going to do something like padding and it's going to be let's say 10 dp and as you can see we have a little bit space and if i run this application one more time we can clearly see the difference so let me check as you can see we have now uh, some space remaining on the on both sides of those these uh, components so and then i'm going to finish this uh, i'm going to stop this so now as you can see we are just done with designing uh, our uh, ui and uh, i mean the ui components and then we will be continuing with this other uh, yeah, we will be continuing with main activity java file and then here we will be declaring all of those documents so i mean all of those uh, here uh, the variables first thing is we will be the declaring a new variable in order to store the number of x so this is going to be private and it's going to be int and then we say this is going to be count and then initially it equals zero and after this one we will be declaring another component so it's going to be private and then edit text it's going to be so edit text and then we say edit edit get because we will be getting the number and here we say another component we say private and then it's going to be button okay so this is going to be btn uh, btn num add and then after this one uh, we are also de define another component so we say this button and then here it's going to be btn one add so btn one add and then another component we will be using private so txt uh, txt txt view txt view and then txt show and after this one the, finally we will be having another component it's button so it's button and this time it's going to be btn uh, btn reset and then after this one now we are gonna initialize all of those components here we have just successfully declared all the components here as you can see overall here we have this five components and then we also have this five components and then finally here we are going to initialize all those components let's say so we have this edit get and then here find view by id r dot id dot and then here we say 
okay something like this and then we say button so btn btn i think btn here we have this typo so this is btn number at so btn number at dot uh, equals so find view dot id r dot id dot and then btn number at okay so next one is btn one at and then equals find view dot id dot id dot so here btn and then one at so and then finally another one is the txt so here we have this txt show equals so find view dot id r dot id and then here we have txt show and then after this one after txt show here we have as you can see uh, btn reset btn okay so this is going to be btn reset point find view find view by id r dot id dot uh, btn so reset and then now we have successfully initialized all of our buttons and then very first thing is that we are gonna display the number of the x on the text view for, for which we say the txt view uh, set text as you can see but right now as you can see we have this number uh, variable is uh, i mean the int number this is meaning that it is digit that's why we cannot directly display this digit and this i mean the number uh, in text show because in the uh, text view component text view component can show the uh, variable which is a string that's why now we are gonna uh, convert this integer value to string for which we are gonna uh, write something like this it's going to be integer dot to string and then here we say count and then now we have successfully parsed our uh, integer value to string and then if we run this code we are going to check how it looks so here okay so as you can see this is uh, zero and i think it's not big enough or it's not bold and then i'm going to check change this so here this component and then if i press this here as you can see uh, it's bold but it is not big enough i think maybe here we can make something like 40 sp and then if I rerun this application, we are going to clearly see the difference, I hope. So if I kind of change this, as you can see now here, okay. And now we haven't created or we haven't written our logic in order to carry out certain uh, actions using these buttons. Now we are going to continue with the remaining part. So here after just uh, displaying this number, first thing we are going to do is just we are going to uh, enter, we are going to add the custom number entered by the user. For this we say btn btn number add dot and then set on click listener new v1 click listener and here very first thing we are going to do is just we are going to get int so number equals so and then after this one we are going to change this so in we are going to we will be converting the string which we will be getting from this component which is uh, edit get to uh, int that's why we say integer to int to let's say uh, to something like integer to okay we will be parsing this so we say integer dot so parse int okay so now here we are gonna declare new variable and it's gonna be number so we the value which we will be getting from this uh, edit uh, i mean the uh, uh, text view or edit text is a string that's why we need to convert the string to the int that's why to uh, int that's why we are going to carry a certain per, uh, action so this is the i mean the we are going to use integer to parse the end and right here let's say edit so this is going to be get text and then this is going to be to string and then after getting this here we are getting the string and after getting the string we are kind of changing we are converting it to the number uh, which is integer or maybe int variable and after this one we are going to do is just counter as you can see count we have this value and then count thing uh, equals plus uh, num and then here we are adding the number and after this one uh, we are gonna show the value in the txt so txt show dot set text and then here we say and again this value is uh, is integer that's why we have to convert it to string that's why i'm going to write integer so it's going to be integer integer 
integer to string so this is going to be count something okay something like this and then let's run this application one more time in order to check everything is running smoothly and then here let's say so here i don't know why we are getting this error so okay so now once we are done with so once we are done with this so once you are once we are done with this let me check this up one more time so let's say if i enter here maybe five and then here if i add and then as you can see this number is getting increasing i mean uh, this number is increasing and then let's say if i just uh, press around 20 and then if i can uh, press add as you can see we are getting this something like this and if i enter this 100 as you can see we are getting this 140 so this is working fine now and then we will be creating the logic for the another button which is btn so here in our case which is uh btn one at so here btn one at dot set uh set set on click listener set on click set on click listener and new this is going to be on click listener and then first thing we are going to do is just we are going to increase the number of this uh, variable and we are going to increase it we are going to increment by one and then after this we are going to uh, change this we, are, we let, let's say just let's copy this line and paste it here and then i'm reformatting the code sometimes and then let's run this code one more time and then let's say here if i enter this 50 and then add and as you can see if i press as you can see now it's kind of the number is increasing meaning that we are just counting one by one and sometimes if you want to change the value let's say you can enter 30 something like this and then what well, as you can see it's working fine and now finally we are we have to deal with this reset button that's why we are gonna uh, write some logic and then here we say set on click listener set on click listener and new view or view on click listener first thing we are gonna do is just say we are gonna set the count to zero and then uh, after this one we are gonna again uh, show this uh, uh, value and then if i run this code we are gonna check this out how this is working so here as you can see if i press enter and then or maybe you know, sometimes if you want you can just check something like this and and then here if i press reset and then here as you can see it's increasing and if i press something like this and then let's say if i press maybe maybe if it's something like this okay so here if i press 30 now as you can see this application is working fine so guys this is a simple application which which you can use for in order to count the x i mean if you kind of find it difficult to work with big numbers so thank you so much for watching in the description box below i will be providing you with the full code